Hey, what's going on, Funko lovers all over the world? You already know who it is. It is your favorite internet sweaty. Your boy, Mikey Savage 21, bringing you another Funko video, but no, not this time. Not an unboxing video. Instead, we're having something new I'm going to start up on the channel. Funko Pop Discussions, where I will bring on a special guest and we would just simply talk about all things Funko related, whether it be a top 10 wish list of Funko Pops we want to see, whether it be about how we started getting into Funko Pop collecting, what's our favorite Funko Pop, what's our least favorite Funko Pop, and things of that nature. And today is no different. I have a special guest with me on this very first edition of Funko Pop Discussion. And today, I am so happy to be giving a warm welcome to Amber from Amber's Playhouse. Well, I'm glad to be here. Thanks for having me. I mean, I'm not that special, guys. I'm only at 11K. That's it. You know, I mean, it's big for me, but, you know, there's bigger people out there. <laughs> now, first thing we're going to do here is I'm going to say a couple of things up front. First of all, make sure you give this video a like, especially if you plan to stick with us to the very end. Of course, if you don't like the video, you can give it a thumbs down. And of course, I'll make sure I leave all the links to Amber's channel down in the description below. Also, make sure you go and follow me on all the social media platforms at official MS21. But for today's video, we're going to be counting down the top 10 Dragon Ball Z Funko Pops that we want to see. And spoiler alert. A GT might get mentioned in this, so if you're not a fan of GT, I'm sorry for you. But all right, Amber, we're going to start off with you. What is your number one pick? Okay, well, I'm not going in any order. I'm just kind of jumbling them here. But I would love to see a Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta. Ladies, do you feel me? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I just, I don't know. I... I've seen ones that where people like try and make them and they look okay because you can obviously like customize your own Funko Pop, but I don't know. They just, it still doesn't feel authentic to me. And if it was actually made by Funko themselves, I just think it'd be so awesome to have like the chest hair and everything and oh, it would look so awesome. I know there's Planet Arlia out there, but it's not the same. <laughs> I knew Vegeta was going to make his way in here somehow. And I've seen a couple of custom uh, Super Saiyan 4 Funko Pops out there, um, but they're usually way too high. And I'm like, yeah, I'm not spending 80 bucks on that, even though I, I understand mm -hmm. it's a custom and everything. But I've seen some pretty legit ones out there. But no, I agree. I would definitely want Vegeta to be a part of that. And of course, if you make Vegeta, it'd only be fair if you make Goku um, yeah. Super Saiyan 4. And of course, go ahead and do Gogeta as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that'd be cool. I mean... Nothing else from GT because it was all trash, but <laughs> Goku Vegeta, yeah. <laughs> well, I would argue you could throw Baby in there. I mean, it'd be cool to see like Baby Vegeta be a Funko Pop and maybe even have the Golden Uzaru form in there. That would be nice to see. That would be awesome too. I know they have the regular one, but yeah, to see a Golden Uzaru, that would be that would be pretty dope. So for my first one, um, again, I'm in going in no particular order either, um, but you're going to see a little bit of a bias here, especially with these first two. Um, the first one I have is actually kind of cheating in a way. It's a two pack. Uh, uh -oh. So I want to see <laughs> Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks um, and Piccolo uh, doing the spiking boo ball slam or the volleyball fist together. And oh, my God. <laughs> And this reason why is because this is one of my favorite go tanks techniques right up there with the super ghost kamikaze attack like they're right there neck and neck and obviously we now have the super ghost kamikaze attack so since they're doing a lot of go tanks Funko Pops it only makes sense to just use the same Super Saiyan 3 mold but just kind of change his arm position up and make it look like he's getting ready to service something up to Piccolo and of course this would also give Piccolo a little bit more spotlight um, as well and so like I said Gotenks is one of my favorite characters so anytime Gotenks can get a little bit of love I'm definitely gonna throw him in there so that's my first one I want to do a two pack with Gotenks and with Piccolo not only that it was also because it was such an iconic moment in Dragon ball z because i know a lot of people crap on the boo saga because it's all over the place mm -hmm. like akira toriyama didn't know where he wanted to end the story he didn't know who he wanted to get the final blow um on boo but that moment to me is just so iconic because it's gotenks being silly but at the same time it's a really powerful move and it is a combination attack which we usually when we see combinations attack it's usually beam struggles this was the first combination attack where we saw where it was actual physical combination attack 
No, I, I would definitely buy that one. As much as I... I don't want to say I hate Go Tanks. I just dislike the character sometimes. But I would definitely love to see him and Piccolo as a two-parter. Like a two... Two-part. I guess it's a oh, two-part. Oh, no, I get it. Go Tanks kind of... <laughs> Go Tanks kind of rubs everybody the wrong way because of just how silly natured he is and how arrogant he is, like times 10. Yeah. It's like all his worst traits get brought to the surface, but when they're individual, it's like they're the sweetest characters yeah. can be. Yeah. I mean, don't get me wrong. There's tons of scenes I love with the two of them, but some of them I'm just like, oh, my God, this kid needs a spanking. <laughs> and coincidentally enough, he got one. He gave, yeah. gave him a spanking. <laughs> All right, so what do you have for your next one, Amber? Okay, so for my second one, now, I'm just throwing this out of the park here. I would love to see a launch Funko Pop. Like, come on, guys. I know Toriyama forgot about her, which is atrocious. But, come on, it's launch. Like, I, I'm still salty at the fact that she was only brought back once in the Boo arc, and that was a cameo. Like, literally, she was standing there waving beside a truck, and that was it. I'm like, really? You gonna do my girl like that? <laughs> Ooh, so I'm guessing you would want, like, the regular common one to be, like, the blue hair one, and then the golden launch one with the yellow hair would be the chase I'm variant, I'm guessing. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you gotta have both versions. You gotta have sweet launch and then badass launch. I mean, you could even do... A two-parter. I keep saying two-parter. Two-boxer, <laughs> if you will. <laughs> Put them together because, yeah, I would buy that. I would probably buy, like, three of them and give them to my friends. <laughs> Be like, here, best character. I don't care what you say. <laughs> Take it. <laughs> Yeah, I can agree with that because Dragon Ball isn't known for having like too many strong female characters that people can grasp onto or that mm -hmm. have been like part of the main Z cast. Um, and you can definitely say Launch was one of the original OG members, you know, mm -hmm. way before, you know, like Chi Chi became like really ingrained into the family and everything. So I would definitely be interested in a launch and maybe Funko at some point will double down and I mean we're getting all these Boma variations and we finally got a Chi Chi one maybe they finally will shelve out and say you know what people keep talking about this launch character so mm -hmm. why not and maybe hey since Mazako series is getting so popular with you know Raditz turning into a good guy and bringing launch back into the fold maybe that would help bolster a little bit of confidence in Funko saying you know what if we do this I think people will flock out to it and buy it yeah that's so weird because I when I went to go get the Chi Chi I was actually lucky to find her because they only had one left and now I haven't seen her at all so it's strange how like you guys over there have so many of them and here it's like okay I can't even find one of her anymore it's just weird we, there are there's a bunch like there's a bunch of Chi Chi's that are left a bunch of Balmas that are left but there are no Krillins, uh, rarely any Piccolos or anything other mm -hmm. than the Comic-Con exclusive one that just came out for New York. There are a lot of characters that are actually kind of hard to find here, but you will always be able to find Gohan, always be able to find Vegeta and Goku unless they completely sell out. Mm -hmm. But some of the more ancillary characters, no, they're very scarce and hard to find here. Yeah, that's so weird. Pick and choose, I guess. <laughs> whatever the popular ones are, they'll have tons of them. But if they're not, they're just like, yeah, whatever. Pretty much, yeah. <laughs> uh, well, since I had mentioned Go Tanks for my second one, uh, or for my first one, I should say, uh, I'm going to stick a along the lines of the Boo Saga, and I'm going to say I want Super Saiyan Go Tanks to get made. Now, I know Funko already screwed this up, because if you look <laughs> at the Super Saiyan 3 Go Tanks, it should say 3. But it says Super Saiyan Go Tanks on there. And the first time I got it, I said, Oh my gosh, do not tell me I just ordered a fake. Do not tell me I've gone through this process where I have ordered another fake off of eBay and somebody has stolen my money. And then I look <laughs> and I was like, Wait, I didn't order this from eBay. I ordered this from Arconia. I said, What's going on? And then I was like, Oh, they made a mistake. Oh, well, I wonder is that going to hamper us actually getting a Super Saiyan Go Tanks? But. Only reason I would say I'd want a Super Saiyan Go Tanks is just so we can just go ahead and complete the set. I mean, we got the normal one doing his pose. We have Super Saiyan 3 now. And then, of course, we have the Super Ghost Kamikaze attack. And, of course, we have the two pack with Goten and Trunks doing the fusion pose. 
figure why not just go ahead and throw super saiyan go tanks in there as well um i know it might be a little confusing to some people be you know in terms of the naming and everything but i figure they could figure a way around it somehow i i think that'd be cool to see super saiyan go tanks i mean they already have a super saiyan 3 goku so why not have go tanks right <laughs> right and i mean it, it's not it, it wouldn't be too hard because all they would have to do is just take the the go tanks model that they've already used with him with his uh base form and just kind of make his hair golden and maybe change up his pose or maybe have him doing something else uh or they could just keep the same pose and just have him with super saiyan hair because like i said we got super saiyan 3 go tanks might as well add regular super saiyan go tanks to that mix as well why not two for one deal <laughs> i know right Maybe they could put a special and put like go um super saiyan 3 go tanks and super saiyan 3 goku like two for one or like you buy one you get the other one for like 10 percent off or whatever they'll just give the incentive now that's another one that's hard to find around here it's super saiyan 3 goku like i don't i had to get one. mine yeah i had to get mine from canada and really? I did not know the shipping from Canada was so high. Yeah. <laughs> because it's it, it sold out here in the U.S. and I couldn't get it anywhere, even in my local GameStop. So I had to shelve out 30 extra dollars just to get for shipping just to get him sent here. And I'm like, it's Super Saiyan 3 Goku. You want him really badly. Let's just go ahead and get him. Yeah. I mean, the shipping from here to the States isn't the best either. But what can you do? <laughs> yeah, I can't complain. It's not cheap, that's for sure. <laughs> that's very true. All right, Amber, what do you have for your third pick? Okay, so my third one, now, this is more on the cute side. I know we have a kid Gohan. Actually, we have two of them. And we now have a future Gohan, which I think is so awesome, and I can't wait to get him. I can't remember when he comes out. Or if, is he out yet? I can't. I don't think so, right? I didn't know we were getting a future Gohan. Yeah, so I don't know when he's supposed to drop. I thought he dropped already, but I guess not. But yes, we are getting a future Gohan. So. I know we have the Gohan um, from where he's a kid when he was training with Piccolo and he has the sword. Um, then we have the Gohan that's like from the beginning of like the Android saga with the like mock Piccolo outfit. And then we have Super Saiyan and then Super Saiyan 2. Um, I gotta say, I wouldn't mind seeing a future Gohan. Yeah, Future Gohan, I for, like I said, I forget when it's coming out, but I did see a photo of it um, quite a while back, and it's coming out in another set with a few other new ones. I can't remember off the top of my head who else is with him, but because of the fact that they have all of those Gohans and they have Future Gohan, I feel like they should have a baby Gohan, like actual baby Gohan from the very first episode. <laughs> Oh, Dragon Ball, because he was so cute. Like, he was just so tiny with his little hat and everything. Oh, my God. And if they put, like, a little soother in his mouth, I would be sold. I seriously, that would be You know what's so funny? <laughs> I, 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 had to, I had to turn around and look. They actually made a baby Gohan. No. Yeah, uh, I think number 106 comes right before the Fuka Trunks. Um, it's the Gohan, and he's got his little tail. And he's got his little hat on his head, and he's got the Dragon Ball. Oh on yeah, his head. that one I have. But I'm meaning like, I'm talking baby Gohan, like. Ooh, like wrapped in yeah. diapers, Gohan. <laughs> that oh, I and could... then look, ooh, oh my gosh! And then you could have Chi Chi. That could be a two pack with Chi Chi and everything. Oh my god, that would be that'd be too much for Funko, I think. But I can dream, man. <laughs> I mean, if they can give us Goku and Vegeta playing baseball, yeah. they can give us that. <laughs> I don't know. I'm just sometimes I'm all for the cute ones. I mean, I love awesome epic ones like Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta, but I want to throw some cute ones in there. Like throw even some like oh, I just thought of another one. Like even baby Vegeta or baby Goku. Oh, like how cute. <laughs> Oh, especially if it's the one from the the Broly yeah. movie with him in his little yeah. armor and everything. <laughs> Like Funko, get on this. <laughs> I feel bad because I didn't put any cutesy ones on. No, there. That's I have okay. <laughs> nothing but like, like fighters and stuff. Yeah, but I'm a girl, so it's to be expected at least to have one, right? <laughs> that's very true. I mean, I kind of have a cutesy one on here because I think she's kind of like 
Dragon Ball Bay, but that's just <laughs> kind of me. Um, and that's on my honorable mentions list. But for my number three, I cheated again and I did another two pack. Uh oh. Um, and <laughs> this time, and this is before I knew the, when I was writing my list, this is before I knew the Vegeta Final Flash was coming out. But I had Super Vegeta versus Semi Perfect Cell. And so, for obvious reasons, this is a really iconic moment. I actually have a Super Vegeta versus Semi Perfect Cell figures like right behind me as um, I'm recording this. But I would like to see it in Funko version. Uh, whether it's him doing his iconic kick into Cell's oh. gut or it's just a, a two pack of them together, you know, facing off with each or one another. I think that would be cool, especially since they're interested in like doing more cell pops because we're getting the metallic perfect cell pop T set. This is my hoping that, you know, if we get another form of Super Vegeta, um, this time it'll be a two pack with semi perfect cell because again, that's one of those iconic moments from the cell saga where Vegeta first transformed and just landed a gut punch straight into cell. And I remember the narrator is just like narrating saying all this all stuff and stuff. And I I remember when I first saw it, I was a little kid. I was like, oh, Cell, you're F, you're F, bro. You're F. <laughs> you're done. Vegeta's not playing around here. I was like, look, he 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 came in. He's like, you know what? I ain't even going to play around. I'm just going to go ahead and land one right in his gut. And it's like, Cell's just standing there like, come at me, bro. <laughs> I don't know what I'm feeling right now, but I don't like it. I definitely would like that one. I don't know if, I mean, I don't put it out there, but Sal was always one of my favorite villains. Same here. Same and here. And when they first brought out the first Funko of Sal, I was so excited. So I would definitely love to see even like a, well, maybe not. I was going to say even like a Krillin and Sal would be kind of funny, but I don't know what kind of poses they would do for that. Yeah. And we need more love for Krillin. I'm yeah. glad we're getting the <laughs> Krillin Destructo disc, but yeah, Krillin definitely needs a little bit more love. Yeah. I love my man Krillin. Sucks. I only have one of him. <laughs> same here same i have so here. many of the others and it's just him he's all by himself poor krillin ah, he's <laughs> used to being that way he's got 18 now but all right what do you have for your number four amber because now we're getting to the nitty-gritty we only got oh, no. two left so I'm, <laughs> I'm curious to see what you have on your list okay so my number four pick is going to be videl but now i know we already have the Vidal that we have, which I don't have her yet, which I'm very sad about. I can't find her anywhere, and I'm probably going to have to pay a lot of money on eBay to get her now. But I would... She's actually one of the ones we have excess amounts no. of at my Books A Million. She's just sitting on the shelf <laughs> dusting up. Of course. But I would love to see them do, like, a Battle of Gods or Super Vidal with her short hair. Like, I think that would be amazing. Oh, yeah. As much as I love her with her pigtails... I would love to see her in her outfit from Battle of Gods because she was cute as <laughs> sorry for the language, but she was cute AF. <laughs> no, hey, hey, no, I feel you. I'm not going to lie. Adele is Bay. <laughs> she's not like my favorite Bay, but she's definitely one of my Dragon Ball Bays for sure, for sure. Yeah. Um, And I like how she is like one of the few human characters that actually learned the Buku Jutsu and learned how to fly mm -hmm. and still uses it to this day. It's not something like, oh, yeah, I know how to fly, but I never do anything with it. Yeah. It just kind of, you know, gets shoved in the closet. Like, oh, yeah, I learned that, but I don't need it anymore. <laughs> it's like, no, girl. <laughs> Ooh, since you want to do Vidal with short hair, would you be interested if they did a two-pack with her and Spopovich, Dan, in the uh, World Tournament <gasps> ring? Oh, no. Now, I don't mean that... recreating that, like, particular <laughs> scene with her all beaten up and stuff. But I, I was going to I just mean, like, them in the <laughs> ring together, like oh, wow, this is that iconic moment from her in the ring. That would be cool. Yeah, I couldn't have her beat up, though, because that scene was too much for me. Like, I watched the original, and I sobbed, and then I went back and watched it when Kai came out, and I sobbed even harder. So, yeah, that was... <sighs> That was a little too much for me. <laughs> In order to protect my man card, I will not <laughs> say whether or not I cried during that scene. Because I, I did enough crying and a lot of the sagas leading up to that point. So I, I won't comment on that one. But I agree that was a very hard. Oh, that was a very hard thing to watch. It's just it was just the way she screamed that got to me. It wasn't even the fact of just watching her get beat up. It was like the screams of agony and they were just standing there watching it happen and i was like oh gohan <laughs> and then the whole time you're thinking like come on let gohan go out yeah there. seriously just, just i was so quick. mad at goku oh i was like 
Jesus. His girlfriend is getting beaten up and you're just like, no, Gohan, you can't go. I'm like, Goku, you this son makes of a... Me wonder <laughs> if that same thing happened to Chi-Chi with Goku just kind of standing there and taking it and be like, no, no, I have to go. Right? Like, I'm sure, yeah, I'm sure Goku wouldn't let anybody do that to Chi-Chi. Like, hello, did we all see the movie Lord Slug? That's very true. What happened at the beginning? <laughs> you know what I and mean? And then, of like, course, we know we Vegeta wouldn't let that happen to Balma. We have another iconic yeah. uh, uh, moment of, uh-uh, not my Balma. Even in the Boo Saga, yeah. I still think he would react <laughs> that way like, uh-uh, you just put your oh, hands yeah. on my wife. We finna go. We finna throw down. <laughs> We're gonna go down, man. Get ready. <laughs> All right, so... Once again, sticking with uh, in the Boo Saga again, as you guys can see, the Boo Saga is like one of my favorites. It's not my all time favorite, <laughs> of course. but it's like one of my favorites. So I have a Gohan, but I want to do post Elder Kai ritual Gohan with the uh, bang. Oh. As we all say, the bang is down. The bang is down. It means ultimately <laughs> Gohan is here. He's ready to whoop some ass. You know, he's getting serious. That's the Gohan that I want. I want that Gohan. Um, if they decided to make it a two-pack, I guess they could pair it with Boo with the Gotenks vest on. But I would just rather have him just by himself. And I don't know what they would call him because they have plenty of Funko Pops that just say Gohan on it. I guess they could just say Gohan Elder Kai Ritual or something on it. But to me, that's like one of the other iconic moments from Dragon Ball like where you have him powering up for the first time. And it's just like wow he's throwing out like all this electricity and all this power and stuff and he's not even a super saiyan then when he just shows up on earth out of nowhere and just is like yeah super boo yeah you're f bro and just is slapping the dude around like hey i'm over here like what bam right in the face that to me was like gohan's one of gohan's ultimate moments now i know everyone always says the super saiyan 2 gohan moment is the ultimate moment and i won't argue against that but i'll say that this moment was also equally as important because this was the first time we're seeing gohan like with all his potential let out like no restraints nothing's holding him back his mind isn't holding him back his arrogance is holding him back and which is why he didn't get the ultimate kill on boo but still in that moment you have him dropping all the restraints off and it's like this is the fruit of my training this is the fruit of you know all the training that i've gone through with my dad and with piccolo um and with the other z fighters and now with uh, elder kai um him giving me with this ability blessing me with this gift i'm now able to take this and i'm actually able to do something with it so to me i think an elder kai post uh, elder kai ritual gohan would be the perfect funko pop especially one for gohan and, and hey if we're getting future gohan on why not have this one because again it's literally almost the same exact outfit just a few minor details have been changed yeah now would you have him with the sword or without hmm like would you have him with just the outfit or would you have him I actually don't know, like honestly pulling out the sword because i think that would be kind of cool too just have like a fake rock and then he pulls out this little sword oh <laughs> if i had that if i had nice that touch. one then i'd want him to be like in his battle damage outfit from like when he fought deborah um and then him pulling out yeah. the sword i think that would be a cool uh, moment to have in there or if you wanted to have like uh ultimate gohan and have the sword laying at his feet or something I think that would be kind of cool, too, because mm -hmm. then it signifies, oh, this is how he got the power up. It's because of the sword. Yeah. Yeah, I would definitely. That would be so cool. I'm just, like, trying to picture it in my head. I'm like, oh. Same here. Same here. Hey, look, <laughs> for all of you out there who do custom Funko Pops, hey, we're giving you some great ideas. <laughs> right? Get on it, man. <laughs> but all right, Emma, what do you have for your number five? All right, so my last one, sticking with Gohan's family. Again, another cutesy one. I have to, you guys. But we need Baby Pan. Like, Aww. seriously. I take Baby Pan <laughs> I just, uh, Pan I just keep day. thinking of her in, like, Funko, in Funko form. And I'm just like, oh, my God. And just have her, like, you know, once I get Videl, have her set up with Gohan and Videl and just... Uh, the perfect family <laughs> oh my gosh i'm not gonna lie that would be a cute one that i wouldn't definitely would love to add to my collection 
Oh, especially like it would look so good on display. Oh, this might be the introduction to (laughs) getting the Pilaf gang introduced in there, especially after that iconic episode where like he took. Oh yeah, (laughs) he he was like, you know what, Pan's got this. Pan's gonna be a a protector of the earth. She's gonna stop the Pilaf gang. This would be an introduction for them to have like the Pilaf gang and Pan in there together. Yeah, I would definitely love to have her. She she'd be a cute cute addition. We, like I said, we have some awesome ones with Super Saiyan. Dang, and once again, I feel bad. I have no cutesy ones <laughs> on my list. That's okay. You can think of cutesy ones later and do another video. <laughs> I have one cutesy one on my list, and it's in my honorable mentions. And some people would even argue, okay, that's that's not a cutesy one. That's a that's a hot one. That that's totally different. But all right, uh, okay. So for my last one, before I get to it, I have a couple of honorable mentions that I want to throw out there. Okay, so first I want to throw out Vados for Ooh. obvious reasons because Vados is Bay. She is. Um, and I figure, <laughs> hey, we got a Whis, why not get a Vados? Same thing along the lines of that, a Champa. I mean, we have two Beerses, why not give us a Champa as well? I mean, they're basically the same character, except one is just fatter. Um, <laughs> I wouldn't mind a Kyo. <laughs> I wouldn't mind a Kaioshin Funko Pop because again. As much as we crap on Supreme Kai, he is still pretty integral to the story and everything, mm-hmm. and has done a few things of somewhat importance. Yeah. And the last one I would say in my honorable mentions is another two pack, and this is one that we don't even have yet. It would be Super Saiyan Two Goku versus Majin Vegeta. Oh snap! Oh, that one will be fire. And I look at it as like you could have them doing their iconic poses once again, <gasps> staring at oh. each other face to face with like a little undertow rock background going for them. Because we already have the Majin Vegeta, but we don't have a yeah. Super Saiyan 2 Goku yet. The only Super Saiyan 2 we have is Gohan. So I figure, okay, you can have both of them with the lightning coming off of both of them. Oh. I know there's rumors of us getting a Super Saiyan 2 Vegeta, but... I don't know when that's ever going to come out, but I feel like that yeah. would be an iconic moment to have, um, especially like for us who really love that fight, because we got to admit, that's one of the all-time great Vegeta and Goku fights. Those would be pretty good. <laughs> but for my last official one, and again, sticking on the lines of Saiyans, I know I didn't do anything <laughs> but mention Saiyans here, even though I did throw right. I did throw Piccolo in you there. Did, I was going to say, you did my perfect sale, some love. <laughs> All right, so for this one, now I don't know if I'd want him in Super Saiyan Blue or Super Saiyan, or I'd want him in his base form, but I have Gogeta from the Dragon Ball Super movie. Um, And the reason I think we should get this one is because we already have Vegito in Super Saiyan, and we already have Vegito, the metallic one, um, in his um, Super Saiyan Blue form, so I figure, why not have a matching Gogeta to go with it, especially now that Gogeta has been officially canonized, and everybody's happy with this iteration of how strong he is, and his overall look and appearance. I think it would work out pretty well, and then of course, if they wanted to do another two-pack, they could throw Broly in there, which would also be kind of nice i don't see how they could do that because of how big broly gets when he finally gets to his last transformation in the movie but nonetheless i think gogeta should be made into a funko pop and then of course if they want to add an extra funko pop to it throw broly in there or maybe have goku and vegeta doing the iconic pose just like we got with goten and trunks because then that that would be cool too Right, because then it would match, you know, their sons. It's like, look, you have the sons doing it, and then you have the fathers doing the iconic pose. And essentially, you could use the same mold for, you know, Goku and Goten, and really look interchangeable. You just have to make a few noticeable changes. But with Vegeta, of course, it'd have to be something completely different. But, yeah, that is my final one. I'm going to go with Gogeta from Dragon Ball Super Broly. Uh, any form, whether it's base, Super Saiyan, or Super Saiyan Blue. I would take any of them. We all know how I feel about Gogeta. He's my favorite, so <laughs> I would take him in any form I could get him. <laughs> same here, same here. He's like, I'm. Tr- I don't want to say he's my favorite fusion, but he is definitely up there in terms of. No, no, I would say Gotenks is my favorite fusion, and then I gotta he's say, like Go- I, yeah, Gogeta is gonna have to definitely be my second. Yeah. <laughs> Gogeta's number one for me all the way. <laughs> of course, of course, there's no bias in there at all. I mean, it's not like uh, Vegeta is mixed in that uh, combination. No, not at all. <laughs> 
But did you have any honorable mentions that you wanted to throw out there? Um, I was just trying to think of one off the top of my head. Um, I had one earlier and I lost it. I just feel like a lot of them are so generic. Like, I don't... To ask for more Vegeta or Goku, we have so many of them already. Mm -hmm. So I don't really want to go that route because... I just feel like they're just going to continue to make more and more. Like, I have Batman Vegeta. I have God Vegeta. I have regular Vegeta. Like, there's just so many Vegetas. And then same with Goku. There's Super Saiyan Goku and regular Goku and Kid Goku. And it's like, okay, there's so many. But I guess if I had to pick an honorable mention, I would probably... Now, this is really throwing it out there. I think I would love to see an Icarus. Oh, Icarus. Just to be random. Like, go with Gohan. I miss Icarus. <laughs> oh, sad tear. Oh, that just reminds me of this video sad I moment. just watched with Icarus and Gohan. Uh, I'm getting flashbacks to that video. I don't know if you saw the video. It's the one on YouTube where I think it's like uh, Thug Gohan. I think that's Oh, yeah, I think I did see it, yeah. And I was like, oh, well, all right then, Icarus. Uh <laughs> At least we know what you've been doing. Apparently, you've been hitting the gym, buddy. <laughs> oh, God. I love that little guy. <laughs> Miss him so much. Okay, I wouldn't he mind so an Icarus, awesome. too, because yeah, it's a dragon. Why, who would want to add a dragon right? to the collection? I mean, I have regular Shenron, but... Which is cool. Oh, he's cool, right. but he's super heavy. Oh, I had so, forgotten all about Shenron. That's right. Yeah. I don't have the golden one, unfortunately, which... Is a little bit cooler than the regular one, but I at least got one of them, so <laughs> I'm happy. Planning to get the new one they released a little while ago, the green one. They released another one. Yeah, it's jade colored. Oh, probably not. I don't blame you. I'd be okay with just the green. I might get the gold eventually if it like drops down in price. That's but... I have the gold one. Um, I managed to get that one on sale, and then the regular one actually came shipped to me directly from galactic toys and was damn it so i was just like wow galactic toys i have shelled out all this money and you've managed to damage my funko pop congratulations wow yeah i hate when that happens i've gotten some now i mostly buy mine from eb games and hot topic but there has been like once or twice where i've picked up the box and it's like all crushed and i'm like it's a good thing i don't keep these boxes because this looks like <laughs> If I wasn't such a stickler about keeping them in the boxes and putting like little Funko protectors and stuff around them, yeah, I'd probably take mine out of the box. The only I have a the only ones I have out of my collection that are displayed are all the Star Wars ones are out of the box. Um, a couple of the Marvel ones I have are out of the box, and my uh, All Might is out of the box. And the only reason All Might is out of his box is because I ordered it from someone on Amazon and the box was like destroyed like oh, gone like completely destroyed like all mushed in and everything but surprisingly there was no damage to the actual Funko Pop on the inside which huh. I'm just like baffled by like it looks somebody beat this with a sledgehammer <laughs> yet the pop is unscathed and there's not a scratch on yeah it. huh well, I guess that's just the power of all my I guess so <laughs> I gotta get some of those too I don't have any my here well Actually, I have one. I was going to say, I need to get more hero, my hero ones, because they only have All Might, and that's it. That's the only one I have. I don't even have Deku, and he's my favorite. There, there are too many Dekus. <laughs> I like, know. I'm looking at all the ones I have now. There's <laughs> one, two, three, four, five, and then they just released another one. That's six. Mm, six of versions of Deku. And, they, <laughs> and the last one, they finally decided to put his entire name, and I'm like, it took you long enough to finally put his full name on there. Yeah. <laughs> It's like, ah, uh, how many have you made? I just started getting into the My Hero Academia ones. Originally, I was just going to stick with Dragon Ball, but oh, I figured why not branch out into some other anime. So I breached out and got all the ones for Yu Yu Hakusho. I got all the ones from Naruto minus the Flot Karama, which I cannot seem to find. At least a reasonably priced one. Um, and then I shelved out and said, you know what? I'm going to spend the money and get all the My Hero Academia ones. And they would decide to release a whole brand new batch, which I was barely able to get my hands on. But luckily, I actually did get my hands on it. Nice. But before I let you go, Amber, I actually got a couple of questions that I wrote down here that I wanted to ask you. As sure. Funko Pop Collector to Funko Pop Collector. Sure. Go right ahead. <laughs> all right. So first, what made you exactly 
want to get into Funko Pops or what exactly put you into collecting Funko Pops? Well, funny enough, the first one I ever received, uh, my sis- sister, sorry, actually bought one for me for Christmas and it was Wonder Woman. Now, she doesn't, she was part of the original Funkos, so she looks totally different compared to the Funkos now. But I still love her, and I don't know, there was something about her, I was like, oh, it's really quirky, like, it's got this giant head and these big eyes, I wonder if there's any other series that they're doing. So I ended up Googling, I think at the time I ended up Googling if they had any Disney ones, because I'm a huge Disney fan. Same um, here. And I was just curious to see, like, if they had done anything, and I actually came across um, a few that they had done from Nightmare Before Christmas, and that's one of my, like, all-time favorite Tim Burton movies. Like, I can watch, like, that so many times and never get sick of it. And I saw that they had the Jack Skellington one, and I was like, okay, so they've got to have more. And then, of course, I came across all the Dragon Ball ones and Sailor Moon, and I was like, oh, my God, I'm sold. I need to buy all these. (laughs) (laughs) Like, right now. (laughs) That's how it kind of was for me, too. Like, I um, got my hands on, like... um, a couple of the marvel ones but nothing ever really stuck i was just like oh okay i have a couple of these marvel ones um i think the one that broke me was when i started getting into the dragon ball z ones i i ordered a super saiyan goku which uh at the time i didn't know was a fake so i had to get another one um later on down the road and i got a couple of like the the ones from like resurrection f and i and i think the one that actually broke me that finally made me realize I think I want to start collecting these was when I received a fake Goku of like the first uh, Goku we got, like the number nine yeah. Goku um, from that's a Hot Topic exclusive. When I got a fake one of that one, that one motivated me to go and find and track down the real one. And so from there, I started getting that one. And then I said, well, you know what? <laughs> I don't like having an incomplete collection. And so from then on, every single one that came out, I made sure I got my hands on it. All right, so then this is the last question I have for you, and it's probably going to be the the hardest question to probably answer. But if I know you well enough, I think I might know what the answer might be. Okay, throw it at me. (laughs) All right, what is your favorite Funko Pop? Oh, come on. (laughs) Okay, I'll I'll give you a two-part for that one. What is your favorite Uh, series of Funko Pops, and then what is your all-time favorite Funko Pop? Well, definitely my favorite series is Dragon Ball. Sailor Moon's a close second because that's my another all-time favorite anime. But Dragon Ball, you know, it just it has that place in my heart. Um, but as far as my favorite, um, I have so many. I'm just looking at them now on my display. I'm trying to decide. <laughs> <laughs> I have so many like really cool ones, and I'm gonna have to say. Probably, I'll go with my most recent because of all time is kind of difficult. But my most recent favorite is my Queen Serenity. Oh, okay. That I got a few months back. She's so pretty, and I'm just like, ugh. I wish they did a big figure of this because she's just, she's gorgeous. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm going with no, I feel, you. and that was probably hard trying to narrow it down to like what is your like all time favorite out of like your entire yeah. Funko collection. <laughs> Well, I'm like, I'm looking at the Trunkses I have and <laughs> looking at the Vegetas. I'm like, hmm, eh, which one? <laughs> That's what sometimes, every time someone asks me that, I have to look at my collection and study and be like, okay, which one of you do I like the least and which one of you do yeah. I like the, <laughs> the most favorite? My most favorite, I had already mentioned it earlier tonight, is anything Go Tanks um because go tanks is like one of my favorite dragon ball z characters like if i could actually be go tanks i probably would be go tanks <laughs> but then that means i'd have to be two people and i could only stay that way for 30 minutes which yeah i don't necessarily think i want to do that but uh <laughs> it'd definitely be a toss-up between super saiyan three go tanks despite what the box art says and maja vegeta is my favorite right up there with go tanks is because i remember the day that i got him i was so relieved like like prior to that i had got one and i thought it was real and i had shelved out like 90 dollars for it but it turns out it was a fake 
and it broke my heart because this was like the first time I had received like a fake that was like well past like 50 something dollars and so yeah. I was freaking out like I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get it back because I don't know if eBay has a policy against like buying fake Funko Pops or selling fake Funko Pops luckily enough I was able to get my money back and then I remember from then on I, I there was one that I sat on for about a month and a half and I finally had enough money for it and I went and got him and I remember when he got here I had just had a crappy day at work at my last place of employment it was I had a really bad day it was awful kids were screaming yeah. and everything and I was just <laughs> was out of it completely out of it and then I remember I got the notification saying that he had arrived at the house. And I remember I ran home. I tore open the box <laughs> carefully, of course, because I didn't want yeah. to damage him. And then I just opened him up and I looked at him. And, of course, I checked to make sure at the bottom. OK, is this the real one? OK, yeah, it's the real one. I remember this is the first Funko Pop I picked up and I actually hugged and I actually kissed. Him. <laughs> and I was like, I am never going to let you go. <laughs> and in that moment, I knew yep i'm addicted to these things yeah (laughs) i'm addicted to these things and to the point where uh, a lot of times i have negatives in my bank account because i've decided to shove out money to buy funko pops yeah yeah that's about right (laughs) (laughs) rather spend money on funko pops than food or bills But Amber, I appreciate you so much for coming on and talking with me about Funko Pops and everything. Again, no it is such an honor to to be able to collab with you. Uh, like you have no idea. Like earlier off, like before we were recording and stuff, I was like fanboying out. Like, <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm getting to do a recording with Amber's Playhouse. Is this really happening? <laughs> Don't tell me it's just like that uh, video game. Let's play. I just watched Oxen Free, where I'm stuck in a time loop and this isn't really <laughs> happening. But again, yeah. thank you so much for coming on and sweating it up with me about Funko Pops. Anytime I can have someone that loves Funko Pops as much as I do to come on and just talk about them, it's it's a great honor. Well, I'm glad to be here. Thanks for having me. I mean, I'm not that special, guys. I'm only at 11K. That's it. You know, I mean, it's big for me, but, you know, there's bigger people out there. <laughs> Uh, yeah, well, yeah. S- seeing as how I'm stuck at uh, three thousand seven hundred and five, yeah, 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 you're a big deal to me. <laughs> oh, I guess when you put it like that, yeah, I'm kind of cool, I guess. <laughs> eventually, guys, we will eventually hit ten thousand one of these days, and we're gonna do it the right way. No more that's cheating right. for me. No cheating. No cheating. Be no honest. Cheating. Be yourself, and that's all that matters. That's how I got to where I am. <laughs> that's Being right. my crazy nerd self. <laughs> see advice from someone who has 11,000 subscribers <laughs> do it the right way do it the honest way and be true to who you are and don't listen to the haters because they ain't <laughs> that too and if you want to take <laughs> they don't pay your further, bills <laughs> take, take something and just throw it at them yeah exactly but again thank you so much for jumping onto this video with me guys again make sure you go and follow her on all the social media platforms i'm going to make sure i leave a link down in the description below so you can go and follow her make sure you send her some love she actually has another youtube channel that she is uh, actually working on building up right now too so i'll make sure i also leave that one down in the description below can you tell the people kind of like from both your youtube channels like what exactly do you do on each one of them uh okay so on my main one which is amber's playhouse i'm strictly doing reactions so i'm currently doing uh my well i'm going to be doing my hero it's coming out very soon i'm also doing fruits basket one punch man uh dragon ball heroes apologies for the background noise (laughs) um what else what else am i missing i feel like i'm missing something else it'll come to me oh mob psycho so i'm doing a plethora of different series on there and then as far as my second channel goes that is where i've been putting all of my unboxings of my new funkos regular figures uh, i've got some q a's up on there and basically just all the other anime related stuff that is not reactions so you know discussions all that good stuff <laughs> All right, I'm going to make sure that I leave links to both of those channels. And hey, guys, you never know. Maybe one day she'll let me get on the video. And <laughs> But all right, guys, thank you so much for tuning into this video. Again, make sure you go and follow me on all the social media platforms at official MS21. And let us know down in the comment section below what top five Funko Pops would you want Funko to do? It can be from any series, whether it be Dragon Ball, One Punch Man, My Hero Academia, uh, Yu Yu Hakusho, Naruto, Cowboy bebop 
any and everything let us know down in the comment section below also make sure you smash the like button because again that's how i know that you're okay with the content and then hey if you didn't like this discussion but you sat through to the end i, I question your sanity but you can give it a <laughs> thumbs down again either way the feedback is appreciated thank you as always and this is your boy mikey savage 21 signing out happy funko pop hunting everybody bye guys